Hi everyone, it's Nisha with Inspiring Beautiful Creations. I'm here today for the final reveal of the Sweet Treat Collaborations with MLK, which is Memory Lane Keepsake. Tanya hosted a Sweet Treat um, collaboration for the whole year from January through December and every month all the ladies participated and we created any type of project we wanted based on the theme that she gave us and based on that theme we just had to incorporate something that was a sweet treat and a sweet treat um, could be from any spectrum whatsoever whether it be something that was a food sweet treat or a sweet treat that you think is a sweet treat to you because that's just something sweet that you like to have and things of that nature. So with that being said, um, I will list all of the wonderful, talented ladies in the description box below so you can follow everyone along the journey. And if you've missed any, they are all titled Sweet Treat Collab with MLK and the month and the year. So you'll be able to follow if you want to go back and check and see what everybody else has done. But this is the final one. So we've hit the end of 2018. So this is our final project for this particular collaboration. So I'm showing you some of the items that I chose to use in my project this particular month. And because it is winter, um, and the theme that we have for this month was Christmas. Um, Christmas time or Christmas theme. I'm not exactly sure exactly the title, but it was surrounding Christmas. So what I chose to do was take more of the winter from Christmas. So I did cold hands, warm hearts, because by the time this airs, Christmas would have already passed because it airs on the 30th of each month. So I did this one. And then I um, also used this particular, I used the word sweet here. And I used um, an element from this die to be able to put on my project. And I also use some of my different mugs that I have here and the cream. And then there's the word sweet right here. So I use the, these items. And I also use my um, library um, pocket from Sizzix. I use that one. And the paper line that I chose to use was my heartfelt creations called Celebrate the Season. So this was the paper choice that um, I went with. Um, this particular season, what I wanted to do was a lot um, towards the end was do a lot of projects with my daughter. And I wanted to share her enthusiasm for crafting as well, too. So I chose the colors that she would like. And my daughter loves the color purple. And this is my youngest daughter, by the way. So she loves the, the color purple. So we went with this because she picked this paper out for her theme out of my paper pads. So let me show you the projects that I use. This is the first project that we made. It is basically a cocoa pack holder. I know that everyone uses the... Um, you know, comes up with some different version of their own cocoa pack, but I just wanted to really show off her colors that she liked. So that paper, the one paper um, that we use has a little skates on it and it has a little mittens on it. And I was like, that kind of incorporates the winter theme. And everyone knows that Kayla loves purple um, in her school and our church and everything. So anything that's presented in those colors, they'll always assume it was um, made from her. So we just have some curly ribbon here. And then we have the little miniature bag of marshmallows right here that they can pour in. And then I just put a little bit of um, snowflake with just a little piece of a um, scrap from this um, bling paper. And then I have my cocoa mug. And I just, I love how this die cuts out. And I love how the foam has the lines in it already so you don't have to do too much. And then this was the element from the cottage cuts. Um, candy cane. I threw that in because I knew that the candy cane was going to be one of the red and white elements. And I thought it's just really, you know, nice. It's layered. It's very, very sturdy, guys. Very So it won't even fall apart. Um, and they'll be able to reuse it for something else if they wish to. And, you know, and there's the candy. Now, the particular chocolate that we got was the Marshmallow Lovers because it was the color purple. Again, she picked it out. So um, this particular color, I, that's why it all matched and it worked well. So it is just the cocoa pack. And then we gave them the actual um, marshmallows. And then um, here, this actually just slides out. It was just a little card. And it also has that 
beautiful scenery on there. And again, in this purple and that um, turquoise blue and the greens, and then just set a gift of love on them. So that slides in, so that can be reused, you know, and then that sticks right in there. And then on the back is where I did my Cold Hands Warm Heart stamp on the back. And then I just added some additional snowflakes because I love my snowflakes. So I thought that this gave it a little bit of, an, you know, just stands out something that, like I said, they can reuse and do something else with it. But I thought it was really, really nice. So that's the first one. And then the second one is going to be this particular cocoa mix pack and as you see here um it says sweet and then i put the bigger cocoa mug here and just some snowflakes that i have as well and again i love how the foam this is a bigger foam what i did was i took that paper and just wrapped it around as like a, just a belly band sleeve here and then i with this particular cocoa mix this is actually um the little chocolate Santas, I'm not sure if you can see, where you actually put this in hot milk and then it dissolves into a hot chocolate versus it being a powder. So it's very, it's gonna be very, very sweet and very rich. So I figured that you probably won't want to add a peppermint or anything to it. So what I did was I gave everybody this lollipop. I just kind of stuck it in there and adhered it to the back. But I gave them a peppermint lollipop that's kind of that tree so therefore they can have the hot chocolate and still also have a little sweet treat here of the peppermint um lollipop and then on the back um i added just for a little bit of extra flavor these are some french vanilla snowflake marshmallows and i thought that though that was just a little cute little accent back there so all of these items um you know it's a it's a ready-made sweet treat pack um, they can choose to do what they like with it and then there was um, a tag hanging off from the side of it that's who to say who it was from and who it was to so therefore the recipient knew exactly who got what and we determined who was going to get what but I thought they turned out really really cute and I thought it was really really fun and actually using a different color than we would normally use for a holiday but I like I said I went more with the winter theme of it versus it just being surrounding around Christmas because winter is you know the cooler months come during um, that season as well so I want to say thank you all for watching. Thank you all for following all of us on this journey that we were on with the Sweet Tree Collabs. Thank you, Tanya, for hosting this collaboration. If it wasn't for you, I wouldn't be committed to having to make sure I posted something every month. So thank you for allowing me to be creative um, throughout this entire year, at least if it was only once a month. Thank you so much for that one. And again, to all of you who are subscribers, all of you who are new subscribers, welcome. I appreciate you all I've really had a fun journey with all of you um, just inspiring me again you know my channel is called inspiring beautiful creations but I'm inspired by you all I'm inspired by the crafting community I'm inspired by people who want some of the things that I make you know when I create it for them that's the inspiration that I get and I'm so happy to make others happy any little way that I can, especially when it comes to something, you know, being creative. So this has been a real fun journey. And I wanted to say, you know, Happy New Year to you all, because by the time many of you may see it, see this, it may be within the 2019. So Happy New Year to you all. May your year be filled with joy, with happiness, health, prosperity, love, peace, and just remember to continue to keep God first in your life and continue to always try to make someone else smile. Do whatever you can. If it's just smiling back at someone, sending someone a nice message, please continue to remember others, okay, during this year. And let's do our best to be able to be kind to one another. So thank you again for all for watching your wonderful comments and inspiring me for me to want to create for you all. And I hope that in this upcoming year that we all continue to have a lot of fun. So thank you all. Have a wonderful day. Bye-bye. Happy New Year.